Here is my Sencor VA62 video generator. Quite a useful uh, device. Has a lot of outputs. Uh, standard TV channels for just testing your tuner. Uh, this cable as well. And, uh, and you just enter it in direct here on the keypad. You know, you just have channel steps up down does also does IF um, so you can do IF alignments and it's programmable right now 35 to 50 megahertz you have variable RF output levels for different areas of the IF first IF second IF third IF you also have a, a kind of an attenuator although they don't overlap the ranges do not overlap uh, in, variable audio put in into the signal for RF and IF and easy power supply and lots of video patterns multiburst is this you know you get bars all the way from 0 megahertz all the way up to 4.5 so you can test the video frequency response you, know, you get staircase for setting your uh, grayscale and uh, external modulators for I actually have the uh, color bar generator that does the true um, not EIA uh, true NAB normal color bars and these are just the old stock color bars which is just the color bar actually on the screen you know dot pattern cross hatch for uh, convergence VIR adder if you're working with one of those GE TVs that has VIR. It's got different meters here. It has a multimeter, a uh, voltmeter, not doesn't do all. It does a ringing test for the, uh, has a ringer test for um, transformers and flybacks. You know, different drives. It can even drive servos on a VCR. Different drive signals you select independently of your video patterns, your ring test, your color oscillator drive, your other drivers, and uh, here's your outputs. And what I have in this bag is an updated EEPROM so that I can actually program the uh, IF frequency in different steps and it says 1 to 99 now this is normally made for 40 45 so it really doesn't do the really lower frequencies very well its limit is about 18 so I really can't you know switch it over to FM and then do like I can do a 4.5 megahertz but I can't make it do like 10 megahertz FM um, for FM radio but it'll still be sufficient for you know this purpose and I'm gonna open it up and then put the chip in alright that's what I'm looking at right there where it says Sencor that's the uh, original EPROM microcontroller there so I'm going to replace that with my version I've cleaned it out a bit inside and just a quick dusting nothing major there sorry about the lighting but this is kind of hard with the way this is designed to get in there and get light I'm going to change that chip right now and then pop it back together and test it alright so I've got it the chip in. I haven't put it back together yet, but let's uh, see what happens. Okay, it comes up with 35. Well, let's see. Well, no doubt about it. Peyton Manning may be the most sensitive dude on the gridiron. He says he's got three lucky charms for the game tonight. His wife, Ashley, and their twin toddlers, Mosley and Marshall. Yeah, proud Papa hopes to make history. Okay, that's that's two Super Bowls with different teams. So good luck to Peyton Manning tonight. Andy Gibb coming up next. Hello, it's Ryan Seacrest here. 
the men and women who served our country have picked up qualities on their chores that any employer would covet. Loyalty, reliability, dedication, so many others too. And unfortunately, many Seems to work. Um, there's no anarchy. It just goes. Um, but everything seems to be working okay. So. At Metro PCS, we think there are ways you should spend your paycheck. Yeah, that's working. Meter's working. You should not spend your paycheck on obedience lessons for your cat. But you should bring a little bit of it to Metro's 29 for all sale, where all our 4G yeah. phones are $29 out. So cool. Like the 4G Samsung Galaxy Exhibit. And before I put the cover back on, I was just kind of looking at this, and it's fairly well constructed. And, um... Unlike Hewlett Packard gear, which I do like, that Hewlett Packard uses, will sometimes even use standard parts, but then put their house part numbers on. So you don't know what it is, but everything here seems to be pretty standard. You know, TI, National Semiconductor, and Motorola. So I like that. And now to put the thing back together. Alright, all back together, but I am going to show you one design feature I'm not very fond of. Let me get an external adapter for this. Okay, I have the standard NTSC pattern generator, which selects the old, you know, full field NTSC color bars or the uh, split field with the white and black on the bottom. Now this plugs in down here and I'm going to show you what I'm talking about when there's say there's an issue with this how this hooks up and here's the problem it's hooked up there's the video out of it and this is the power connector well it the connector <laughs> is the same width as this if it had been about an inch deeper you could close this back and um, so this then just flips and stays open and there's almost enough room to even run the cable up there, so it's just a little annoyance, but overall it's a great piece of equipment. <laughs>